Um, hi, Ayala. I would like to share my screen. I am not allowed to do that. And thank you everyone for having me to, today. My name is Ali and I am a community manager at Chain IDE. Today we will be talking about how you can use Chain IDE to develop your dApps uh, and how Chain IDE can help your journey in Web3 in blockchain. And we will be having a live demo and I will be telling you how you can uh, create, compile, deploy your smart contracts on different blockchains and interact with your deployed smart contract. Thank you very much. Can you share your screen now? Yeah, yeah, I can share. Thank you. All right. Okay, guys. So Chain IDE is a cloud-based IDE that supports multiple blockchains. And you can create full stack D app using Chain IDE. You can create your front end using uh, front-end frameworks like React, Vue, and some other front-end fr frameworks, and your back-end, uh, like uh, using Solidity, Rust, Cadence, uh, or different programming languages. So you can create your full-stack DApp using Chain IDE. It supports multi multiple blockchains, including Ethereum, BNB Chain, uh, Polygon, Conflux, uh, Definity, and many others. And uh, except that, uh, we support sandboxes also. You can create your cloud-based Truffle environment, or uh, you can create your Ganache. You don't need to install anything on your local server. You can do each and everything only within the chain IDE. It supports uh, plugins like Verifier, Smart Contract Verifier, and Flatner. Uh, like you can verify your smart contract within the Chain IDE. You don't need to leave Chain IDE, and you can create your full stack DApp. Currently, we are supporting more than 10 public blockchains, uh, including Aptos, Ethereum, BNB Chain, Flow, Conflux, Polygon, Ant Chain, Definity, Fisco, Bicos, and Chain 33. Some of them are like consortium blockchain, and some of them are public blockchain. Uh, and we are being used in more than 185 countries, and more than 8.5 million contracts have been deployed to different blockchains using Chain IDE. And we have all like different hackathons, webinars, seminars, boot camps, in which more than 200K people participated from different countries, including Africa, Turkey, uh, Dubai, Pakistan, America, uh, and many other countries. And recently, Chain ID has been recommended by the uh, official Ethereum documentation. Uh, and uh, the biggest advantage of Chain IDE is you can simply log in with GitHub and uh, you can code from anywhere. For example, you don't have your laptop with you and you are somewhere like somewhere else. You just need to log in and you can access all of your projects anywhere. And uh, it supports cloud storage. Uh, you can uh, you can save up to 10 projects uh, on, on uh, Chain IDE, 
uh, cloud storage and you can log in with your GitHub account. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can create full stack D app, front end, back end, each and everything only within the chain IDE. Uh, we uh, like uh, support, uh, provide multiple uh, like sandboxes, NPM truffle, NPM ganache. You can create your uh, full stack environment using these sandboxes and can deploy your smart contract to different blockchains. Uh, here we have uh, different plugins, uh, which is like JS, EVM, Solidity, LSP uh, for automatic completion, syntax ch checking, and code formatter to like format your code, flattener. Uh, for example, if you are importing some uh, files in your like uh, Solidity file, and uh, flattener will import all the code only within one file. And that file will be used when you verify your smart contract. Uh, we will check all these plugins when I present a live demo. So here we made a comparison with Chain IDE and Remix. Uh, Chain IDE is multi-chain uh, supported, but Remix is only EVM supported like uh, Remix only supports EVM supported blockchain such as Polygon, BNB chain, Ethereum, but we support non-EVM uh, blockchains also such as Flow blockchain is non-EVM, Definity is non-EVM, uh, and we are supporting uh, non-EVM supported blockchain also. Uh, and Remix only support Solidity programming language but we are supporting Solidity. Cadence Cadence is used for flow. Uh, move, Rust, uh, move and Rust are being used for Aptos and uh, 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 Definity blockchain. And using Chain IDE, you can create full stack dApps, but using Remix, you can only create your backend, only your smart contract part, but you cannot create your front end like you cannot code for uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. You cannot uh, use front-end frameworks using uh, Remix ID. You will have to use some other IDEs like Visual Studio Code or some other IDEs if you use Remix ID. But if you are using Chain IDE, you can uh, code front-end as well as back-end. So only using Chain IDE, you can create your full stack DApp. And we are supporting sandboxes, like you can set up uh, your Ganache environment, Truffle environment. You can install uh, like web frameworks uh, such as React only using sandboxes. And Chain ID provides cl cloud storage. You can store your projects on Chain ID cloud storage. But that is not the case with Remix ID. If you use Remix IDE, then you will have to store your projects on your local storage. And we provide a, a variety of plugin systems and Remix also. There are some common similarities between Chain ID and Remix. So we both provide some good plugins for Web3 users. Uh, and we provide both test network support, dev network support, and main network support for different blockchains. So what is our aim? We, like, we plan to expand the global developer ecosystem. We plan to train more and more developers in Web3 uh, from different countries, from different regions, provide education to them, provide trainings to them through hackathons, webinars, and seminars. And uh, yeah, that is our goal uh, to foster a closer bond among developers from different public chains and build a thriving global Web3 developer community. And uh, we hold hackathons 
boot camps, seminars, and webinars. We have uh, collaborated with different uh, blockchains such as Binance, Polygon, to hold hackathons in different countries, including Africa in the past. Uh, so some of them are like Middle East, Turkey, Africa. We recently hold with, in collaboration with Alibaba Cloud and Net, NetJump. And uh, before that, we hold Binance Smart Chain and Chain ID Developer Bootcamp, Global Metaverse Bootcamp, uh, and we have uh, we have been like uh, for in ETH Shanghai also, and uh, NFT Builder Competition, and we have like given different lectures on how to create D apps, how to create NFTs uh, using Chain ID in different uh, universities online uh, through webinars. And recently we had done like AMA also with African communities and uh, uh, walk through of how to develop a Web3 applications. We have published several research papers uh, on these areas. So these are like some of the highlights of our past events in different areas including Europe, Africa, South America, North America, Asia. So here is like uh, during the Polygon event, we had more than 22,000 people uh, at access time and in total more than 47,000 people using Chain ID just for the Polygon blockchain. So now we plan to provide Chain ID education also to train developers in Web3. Uh, we plan to provide various Web3 courses for different blockchains, including Ethereum, like EVM supported as well as non-EVM supported. And uh, that will include uh, different, we have uh, already some courses and we plan to, uh, introduce chain ID education in a few coming months. And uh, we plan to be a bridge rather than just a tool like just chain ID, we plan to be a bridge now. And now I will give a live demo of how you can create, deploy uh, the app on different blockchains and can interact using chain ID. And if you guys have any question, you can ask in the end. Please, does anyone have any question? Yeah. Yeah, if you have any question, maybe you can ask me now. Yes. Yeah, I think you can proceed. When they have questions, they will drop it on the chat or raise their hand. Okay, okay, sure, sure. Yeah, so here is the front end of Chain ID, a cloud based multi chain IDE. We have documentation. If you have any like issues, you can uh, read the documentation. Uh, and uh, if you need any help, support, you can reach us to our Discord, Telegram. We have a uh, Telegram uh, channel and Discord server where we are available all the times you can ask us if you if you have any problems so here are all the blockchains you can choose any blockchain uh, you want to deploy your project on so now i will go with a simple a very simple smart contract and a little complicated one So here you need to click like new project. If you have already created some project, you can directly import uh, here. And if you want to like clone from GitHub, you can uh, click here. And 
paste the link of Git, GitHub repository and can directly import from the GitHub. So here I will, uh, first I will give a brief demo of a simple smart contract, uh, how you can store values on the blockchain and retrieve values from the blockchain. And after this uh, project, I will give a demo of how you can create an NFT smart contract and, uh, and deploy on the blockchain and can send to your friends, transfer your NFTs to your friends. So here is a smart contract. This is a smart contract written in Solidity. Uh, so you need to have some programming language knowledge such as Solidity if you are using Ethereum supported blockchain. And if you are using some other like Flow, you need to have a basic understanding of cadence uh, before you start uh, de developing your application. So here is a smart contract. Here uh, is the contract name storage. And here we have a variable, uh, unint, unsigned integer. Here we have two functions. One is to store value on the blockchain and one is to retrieve value from the blockchain. So the first step is to write down a smart contract. After we finish writing, we will compile. So we can compile by clicking here, compile button or control plus S. So it will start compiling your smart contract. After successful compilation, we will get two things. One is AB of our smart contract application binary interface that will be used when we want to interact using front end with the, with the deployed smart contract. The other thing we will get is bytecode, which will be deployed on the blockchain because EVM only can understand bytecode. So here is like how bytecode look like and here is ABI code. So we go two things after compilation. So the next step is deployment. After compilation, we will deploy our smart contract. And uh, before deployment, we need to connect our wallet and uh, pay gas fee. Because when we deploy our smart contract, it will be deployed on the blockchain and we need to pay the miner a gas fee to process our transactions. So now the smart contract, uh, sorry, the MetaMask wallet is connected and I have, uh, for, for the testing purposes, we will use test networks. And when we deploy to the main network, then we will use a main network. Here are different type of networks like Ethereum mainnet is the main network. And uh, here, are, here we have some test networks like Gorilla test network, Sepolia test network, Rinkbay test network. And for test network, we have some test tokens. Those tokens are dummy tokens. Those uh, token doesn't have any real value, but on the main network, all the tokens have real value. So we don't want to waste money for learning purposes and we will choose some test network. And now I will click deploy and our smart contract will be deployed to the Ethereum blockchain Sepolia test network. And now it is asking for the transaction fee. Whenever we record data on the blockchain or make any changes to the deployed data, we need to pay the gas fee, but when we retrieve data from the blockchain, then we don't need to pay any gas fee. So here we can see in the interact panel, our smart contract is deployed successfully. Here is our smart contract address zero cross B zero zero. And here we can see two functions that we deployed, uh, that we write down in our smart contract here we can see is uh, we have two functions store and retrieve. Here we can see like retrieve and store. Here we can store any number, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Uh, and 
as i mentioned before like whenever we store data on the blockchain we need to pay gas fee and we will pay some gas fee here we can check the status of our transaction in the output section yeah here we can see this data is retrieved from the blockchain 765432 was stored on the blockchain and then we used retrieve function and extracted data from the blockchain and here we can see our smart contract on uh, on the ether scan here we can see like the deployer i am the deployer and here is the transaction here i interacted with the uh, store uh function of our smart contract 30 seconds ago so this is deployed on the blockchain and retrieved from the blockchain and uh, to verify our smart contract uh like the verification is used once your smart contract is verified you can you can interact with your uh, deployed smart contract through the ether scan for example here we see now this uh, smart contract is not verified yet and here it has option for verify and publish we can verify our smart contract within the chain id here we will copy our smart contract address and will paste here and click verify button but before that we need to get an ether scan api key for that you need to go to ether scan here ether scan api key and you need to log in here after you log in uh, there is some error i already logged in and i already copied my ether scan api key so you first need to log in here we can see like here we need to go to ether scan need to log in and api keys here we can see api keys we need to go here and copy our api key and paste in the chain ide and after that we need to uh, here write down the contract address the one we want to verify and press verify button and now we can see here now our smart contract is not verified but uh, i have uh, i haven't like refreshed it after we refresh it and it should be verified now here we can see now our smart contract is verified exact match and here we can see the small uh, icon of verified and here we can see all the code that we deployed on the blockchain uh, here is the abi code that we got after we compile our smart contract and uh, here is bytecode and now we can see like here we can read and write down our read and write our smart contract within the ether scan like here retrieve and here we can see the values we stored on the blockchain is 765432 and here we can write down also store and for example now 8888 you can this is just for the for the demo is a very simple demo yeah you can after verification you can interact from the ether scan like read and write both within the ether scan Uh, you need to connect your wallet first oh it is connected now and now we can yeah we can store uh, update value 
from the ether scan because our smart contract is verified now and we can interact with our smart contract through the ether scan. And uh, on chain ID, we have many built-in smart contracts. If you are a newbie and you don't have like good uh, knowledge of solidity or how to create a smart contract, you can simply visit chain IDE and can start playing with the built-in templates. If you face any issues, uh, you can reach us on our Twitter account, on our Telegram or our Discord can discuss issues with us and we will try our best to help you guys. It is, uh, sorry, it is taking a little longer. Sometimes network is um, busy and it takes a little longer time. Yeah, now it is successful and it should be updated to 8888. It takes a little time to update. Yeah, now we can see the value is updated uh, from the ether scan. And now if we go to chain ID and see, here was like seven, six, four, five, four, three, two. And now if we update it, it should be like eight, 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 eight. So this was a very simple demo. And now we will move forward, like how you can create an NFT smart contract ERC721 smart contract using chain IDE, how you can like send NFTs to your friends, how you can create your NFT collection. So before we used Ethereum blockchain and now we will use Polygon blockchain. So here we have all the built-in templates for different blockchains. So here is ERC721. ERC721 is uh, for uh, NFT smart contract. So here are all the steps. Like first of all, you need to you can read a first like markdown file. We have explained all the steps, like step by step, you, what you need to do. Like, first of all, you need to set up MetaMask wallet. You need to install MetaMask wallet from uh, web store. I, I believe you guys know this. You are you all are familiar already with these, like how to install MetaMask and how to get Test, net, uh, test tokens, how to add test network to your MetaMask. And if you if you are not familiar with this, you can read chain ID uh, documentation. We have mentioned all the steps, like how you can install MetaMask, how you can get dummy tokens, like I have already installed and here it is showing me like remove from Chrome. Uh, you can, if you if you are not familiar with it, you can simply go to chain ID documentation. Here we have explained all the steps, like how to do wallet configuration for different blockchains, like for Ethereum, for Binance Smart Chain, for Polygon, for all the blockchains we are supporting now. Uh, 
so after like uh, your MetaMask is ready, you need to write down a smart contract, then you compile, you get ABI code, byte code, and then you deploy, and then you get uh, contract address, and then you create a front end and interact with the front end, uh, front end, yeah. So now here we have already created this smart contract. We have used open Zeppelin smart contract imported in our file. Uh, and we will, uh, this is like built-in template each, like all the uh, functionalities, basic functionalities are already completed uh, in this smart contract. If you need any functional, uh, any extra functionalities, you can make changes according to your requirements. So we will compile it. Here we need to take care of a compiler version also, like here it should be uh, greater than 0 0.8.0 and less than 0 0.9.0. So you need to choose a suitable compiler version to compile your smart contract. And after compilation, we will again get ABI code and byte code. API code is again like uh, to interact with the deployed smart contract using front end and byte code will be deployed on the blockchain. And if there is any problem with your smart contract, like if there are any errors, uh, like uh, it will be displayed here in the output section. So here we have ABI code and byte code again. So the next step is deploy our smart contract. Here we have like a, a game item. Our smart contract was game item. So we will deploy it. And before deployment, we need to connect our MetaMask wallet, choose a network, choose a blockchain network where we want to deploy our smart contract. Before I chose Sepolia Ethereum test network, and for this time I will choose Polygon test network. Yeah, here I have Polygon test network. If there is any issues, uh, those will be displayed here. Attempting to connect. Polygon Mumbai. So it is uh, switched to Yeah, now it is uh, connected to Polygon Mumbai test network. And now we will deploy it, connect wallet, injected web three, MetaMask and Mumbai. So now Mumbai is added successfully and I ha have already like collected some test network for this demo. So I already have 0 0.48335 uh, test network for Polygon Mumbai. And we will deploy our smart contract on Polygon blockchain now. Here uh, we can see network is PC, gas price are high. And we will confirm and it will take some time. After the successful deployment, we will be able to interact using the chain ID interaction panel. And again, we can verify using uh, this verifier plugin. Here we have all the plugins on the left side, like uh, chain ID solidity flattener, chain ID debugger. Uh, yeah. So verifier is to verify, flattener is like, here we are importing different files. 
for example, open Zeppelin in these smart contracts. And uh, when we flatten our file, all the code from all these imported files will be collected in one file. Yeah. Game item. Yeah, so I refreshed it and now we can see it is deployed two times. So it was a little slower. Here our like smart contract is already deployed on the Polygon blockchain and here we can see all the functions in our smart contract. Uh, is The first one is approve, the second one is award item. For example, if I want to send an NFT to some other address, so I will use a player, ad player address means like the address of uh, the one of the user to whom I want to send an NFT, balance of uh, to check how many NFTs an address holds and get approval. For example, if I want to approve someone else to send an NFT on my behalf, so is approved and name to check the name of our smart contract of our NFT is game item. Here we have written down the name of our uh, NFT. Here is game item. Here we can see game item and here is the symbol ITM. Uh, here is the owner. Owner is the like one who deploys the smart contract. So I am the owner. Here is my wallet address. And here we will be able to check uh, a token, uh, an owner using a token ID. So for example, now I want to send an NFT to someone else. So I will need two things. One is a uh, player ID, player address, and the other one is token URL. So for that, we will go to NFT storage and upload files to NFT storage. NFT storage is an IP address, uh, like a distributed data, uh, a distributed uh, like a system to upload uh, like files. Here are all the other functions symbol like what is the symbol of our uh, this NFT smart contract ITM here we can see ITM so here uh, first of all you need to choose an image you want to use as an F NFT so here I want to choose uh, this one chain ID so first of all we will have to upload an image to IPFS and then we will have to copy the CID of that image. Here we can see the image has been uploaded successfully and here we will copy the CID of this image. Now we will go to chain ID and here we will create a new file. 
and name it like uh, uh, we can name it uh, token URL token URL dot JSON. So here, if we go to MD file. Uh, here we can find a format. Here we can find a format for uh, JSON file for this uh, metadata. So we will change this information according to our image. So here I copied the CID and we will change the CID link with this one. And now we will download this, this token URL dot JSON and We'll upload this file to nft.storage. And after uploading it successfully, we will copy the CIDE of this file. Yeah, here it has been uploaded. And uh, we go back to chain IDE. and uh, copy the CIDE to uh, here and we will use add H. Uh, so we here we will copy a link, this one. Um, we will add I, uh, IPFS and CID. This is the format for the uh, IPFS. And here we will, uh, sorry, it will be here stream and here will be the address where we want to mint an NFT. If anyone <laughs> want to get this NFT, maybe can tell me uh, address in the comment section. Uh, I will mint an NFT to his or her address. So here we submit. And this chain ID NFT will be given to, will be like given to this address. So here we are waiting for the confirmation. After successful confirmation, uh, this NFT will be rewarded to the address, to my address. I used my address, so I, it will be given to me. And it can be sent to anyone who has like Polygon blockchain address because we uh, minted this NFT on Polygon blockchain. And we can uh, check this collection on, on uh, OpenSea NFT marketplace. So now we will go to OpenSea NFT marketplace. Uh, here is the link for the test to see uh, testnet open C Mumbai and we will change the address uh, with our smart contract here game item and here we can see on the testnet like our collection on the Polygon blockchain has been created and we can see in on the OpenSea NFT marketplace, 
uh, we need to go to test networks and need to choose Polygon blockchain. And here we can see the NFTs, NFT that we minted. Uh, the image is not displayed properly. I think maybe there were some uh, errors. Maybe we'll, we will try another one. This was the one I tried before. Maybe we can try this one again. So we try to mint an other NFT. Uh, here we need to replace with IPFS. PFS and XMS. Yeah. So we are going to mint the second NFT now. So it has been like rewarded or minted, minted to the given address successfully. And we can check now again. It takes a little time on the blockchain for the transactions to be added to a block. So here we can see like, this is like just a random random picture I used as an NFT. So this one has been minted. So now we have minted two NFTs successfully. So, so now we try to mint another one, another last one. So I will choose another image. I want to use an NFT, suppose uh, this one. Uh, this one chain IDE and we will upload this one on the IPFS and ft.storage is an uh, IPFS provider and here we have um, uh, it will take some time It hasn't been uploaded successfully. I will try again. So this is the like way how you can mint NFTs, how you can reward NFTs to your friends and uh, uh, like how you can check other functionalities of uh, ERC721 smart contract like balance of here I can check like how many NFTs I own. For example, I minted two NFTs to my own address. So I should own two NFTs here, I can check. So I have like here two NFTs and I can approve someone else on the behalf of myself, like he can send NFTs. Uh, and here, like for example, we want to check who is the owner of, of an NFT with token ID one. So I should be the owner. So here is my wallet address and I can change ownership and uh, like transfer from, and these all are the, uh, all the functions of uh, like uh, an NFT. Token URL, like we can check here. Here is the like IPFS. Uh, we like where we uploaded an image on uh, um, NFT.storage. So these are all the functions of uh, ERC721 smart contract. So I hope you guys find this useful. And uh, if you guys have any question, you may ask me, we don't have like more time. Thank you so much for your very valuable time and happy Ramadan to all the friends here. Yeah, so now you guys can ask me question if you have Thank any. Thank you so much, Harry. Thank you for the amazing Ramadan. So please, if you are confused, you need any clarity, please ask. Yeah, I think someone dropped the 
um, a wallet address. I don't know if you see that, um, Ali. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw that. Okay, I will mint this okay. NFT later, maybe to this address. So this NFT is just like uh, not the real NFT, but just like a test network. There is not like a real worth of this NFT. I will mint this NFT to the given address. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, if there is any other question, please feel free to ask me. And also if you can't, okay, I think someone, yeah, just proceed, Sam. Hello. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, am I audible now? Okay. All right. Uh, thanks for the presentation. And uh, I'm seeing some of the chains that I know of. Uh, they are not supported yet on the chain IDE. Are you planning to support more chains like Cero and other other networks like uh, Algorand, or these are currently the ones that you have? Yeah, we are always happy to support more and more blockchains, like uh, so users can use our IDE, so they don't have to install like uh, different tools on their on their like local systems and spend much time. So we are working to integrate more and more blockchains. The next one is Aster Network, and yeah, we will support more and more blockchain. That is our plan. Yeah, guys, if you Are have you any other- that answers your question, Sam? Yes, uh, I've been answered. Okay. All right, so do we have any other question? And of course you can always share um, maybe on the group, on Discord, or if you have anything basically some other time. And if you can't speak right now, you can drop it on the chat. Um, yeah, sure, seen, sure. Yeah, you've seen what chain ID is capable of building, what chain ID is you know, into, and what they give you out of the box. Um, of having everything on the platform and all you need to do is to just build and deploy on, on the platform. Yeah, so if, if in case um, you have any question, uh, let us know or maybe clarification. Uh, you can always drop a chat and reach out to um, Ali to get responses on any of your questions. Yeah. So I will pass the mic to Eniola right now. Thank you so much, Idris. I don't think we have any other question again. So we've come to the end of today's webinar. And okay, I hope guys. you guys came out. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, thank impressed. you very much. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Good night, everybody. Okay. Enjoy yeah. the rest of your evening. Bye. Bye, Bye. Ali. Bye, everybody. Bye. Mm -hmm.